Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one challenge from radical equations. The given equation is a square root 1 over x minus 1 over x cube plus a square root 1 over x square minus 1 over x cube equal to 1. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be equal to 0. That is our domain. Now I will take LCM. You can see denominator is x cube. So let us make this very first term denominator x cube. So I, here in numerator denominator, I multiplied with x square. Similarly, I will multiply this term numerator denominator with x. Now you can see it is a square root x square minus 1 divided by x cube square root plus square root x minus 1 divided by x cube. Now I will multiply both sides with square root x cube as x is non-zero. So let us multiply. So left hand side if I will multiply with square root x cube. So I will multiply this side also square root x cube. Let's expand. I will write square root x square minus 1 plus square root x minus 1 equal to square root x cube. Now I will use the algebraic identity here a square minus b square. So I can write here x plus 1 times x minus 1. This term would be as it is unchanged square root x minus 1. And this term you can consider x square times x. And square root x square is x. So it is x root x. Now in left hand side you can see square root x minus 1 square root x minus 1. Take square root x minus 1 common. So in bracket we will write square root x plus 1 plus 1 equal to x root x. Now I can consider this is square root x minus 1 to the right as x not equal to 1 in the original equation means x is x equal to 1 is not solution of the original equation. Once I will put x is equal to 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. So left hand side is 0, right hand side is 1. So I can take this term to the right. So I will write square root x plus 1 plus 1 equal to x root x over square root x minus 1. Let me write here square root x plus 1 plus 1 equal to x root x over square root x minus 1. Why I have left that place? Because I am going to consider rationalization. So I will multiply here with square root x plus 1 minus 1 and denominator also square root x plus 1 minus 1. Now you can see a plus b, a minus b. So you will apply the difference of two squares identity. So I will write here a square so x plus 1 minus b square so 1 divided by square root x plus 1 minus 1 equal to x root x over square root x minus 1. Now you will cancel these two terms. Now x and x is also, you can cancel, x is non-zero. Now I will write 1 over square root x plus 1 minus 1. And right hand side is square root x over square root x minus 1. Now I will cross multiply the written terms. So I can write square root x times square root x plus 1 minus square root x equal to square root x minus 1 cross multiplication these two and these two now i will expand this means common square root x square plus x minus square root x equal to square root x minus 1 now i will take this term to the right hand side so it will become square root x square plus x is equal to square root x minus 1 plus root x. Let me write here square root x square plus x 
is equal to square root x plus square root x minus 1. Consider squaring both sides. So I will consider whole square. Whole square. It will become x square plus x. And right hand side a square square root x square x. Square root x minus 1 is square x minus 1 plus 2 times square root x x minus 1. Now you will write x square plus x. You can cancel this x and minus 2x plus 1 equal to 2 times square root x x minus 1. Now we will cancel x with minus 2x. So I will write x square minus x plus 1 equal to 2 times under the root x square minus x. Now you can easily understand substitution time is there. So let us consider this term, this term x square minus x is equal to t. One important point square root is there so t must be always positive. One more point we can put up this x square minus x should be positive. So on a number line if you will conclude means x times x minus 1 greater than 0. So you will write one number line draw it x minus 1. Suppose this is 0 this is 1 x is positive when x would be positive when it is greater than 0. Before 0 it is negative greater than 1 then x minus 1 will be positive before it it is negative. Now see product here is also positive and once x is greater than 1 then that product is positive. So here it is positive, here it is positive. Answer should not lie in between 0 and 1. This is our conclusion. Now let us consider t plus 1 equal to 2 square root t. Consider whole square both sides. So t square plus 2t plus 1 equal to 4t. Take 4t to the left. t square minus 2t plus 1 equal to 0 or t minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So we are getting t positive. t equal to 1 with multiplicity 2. So I will write t minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So t will be equal to 1 and 1 or you can say 1 with multiplicity 2. Let us put back the value of t which was our substitution x square minus x. This was t equal to 1. So I will solve minus 1 minus 0. This is one quadratic equation. Let us find out the value of x first. So x will be equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 minus 4ac, so plus 4, divided by 2a, so x will be equal to 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. So you will write now, verify the result. See, there are two values, 1 plus root 5 over 2, so root 5 is 2.23. So once you will add, you will write here, and this is one golden ratio 5, 1 1.618 and which is greater than 1. See our consideration was either x should be greater than 1 or x should be less than 0 means negative. But answer should not lie in between 0 and 1. So second value if you will check is square root 1 minus square root 5 over 2. So this value will be negative. So both solution we will accept as per our domain. Let me write our answer. So x is ultimately 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. 1 is golden ratio also. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care friends.